welcome to the Ernest West Ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hello, hello, and hello, my brothers, and hello, my sisters. Uh, this is Brother Wes. Um, um, this Sunday, happy Sunday. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and truly be glad in it. Um, listen, it's Sunday. It's Sunday in the ATL, and um, one of the things that I wanted to do, um, I wanted to just say a brief um, word of prayer for someone, a, a brief word of prayer for someone who is and then you notice uh well in atlanta it's raining so what i'm going to pray for that the scripture says uh in the old testament that in your desert place in your dry place i'm going to cause a river to spring up and there's someone there's some ma'am there's some sir who's listening to me you are in a dry place you're in a dry place and you don't have money to pay your light bill. You don't have money to pay, pay your water bill. You don't have money. You're in a dry place. You're in a dry place and you need refreshing. You need something new. Uh, you need something uh, something that's going to wake you up. You're in a horrible situation, mental situation, emotional situation. And it's going to take a God. It's going to take God to bring you out, to awaken you, to uh, resuscitate you out of the situation and the place and, and the in the in the premise that you're in and so I'm gonna pray that God send water. I'm gonna pray that God revive. I'm gonna pray that God renew. I'm gonna pray that God refresh. I'm gonna pray that to, to those that are sleeping. You're sleeping and, and what I mean by that, there are things that you're not aware of that's going on around you. Things that are, that, that you're not aware of that the enemy is trying to do against you. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray that God is going to wake you up. I'm going to pray that God open your eyes up. I'm going to pray that you have a Damascus Road experience with God, wherein your eyes come open and you see the truth. You see the truth. To those of you who have been walking in darkness, it's time for you to walk into the truth. It's time for you to walk into what's right. It's time to walk into Jesus. It's time to walk into the knowledge and the truth. It's time to walk into healing. It's time to walk into deliverance. It's time to walk into your breakthrough. Let's pray now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. God, I thank you for your name. God, I thank you for your word. God, for this is truly the day that you made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it on this Sunday, God. God, as the rain is falling from heaven, as the rain is falling from the sky and touching the ground, God, for those that are listening to me who's walking in a situation, who's walking in a tough place, who's walking in a dry situation, God. God, we ask, God, we ask that you send refreshing. God, we ask that you send your hand. God, we ask that you send your glory. God, we ask that you send your power in this situation right now. God, they need you right now. God, they need you to answer. Give them an answer. God, they need you. God, to give them direction. God, they need you. God, to touch their body. God, they've been dealing with that. They've been dealing with a sickness. God, they've been dealing with discomfort. God, they've been dealing with something for a long time, God. And God, they're tired of dealing with it. God, they're tired of feeling the way that they're feeling, God. God, but go into their feeling right now, God, and change them. God, go into their feeling right now, God, and heal them. God, go into their healing, uh, to, 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 to their feeling right now and make them anew. Make them anew, make them anew, make them anew. God, touch them. Touch them. God, you said in your word, God, concerning the people of God, who he said that I'm going to blow in you. I'm going to breathe in you. I'm going to speak life into you and you are going to revive and God speak life right now to every life in this situation God God calls change to take place now God call healing to take place now bring unity in God bring unity God where there's division there's a whole lot of it the, the, uh, the enemy is on assignment to break up to break up marriages to break up unity to break up togetherness God 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 what we, we put an X in the root. God, you said the axe head is laid at the root. And this axe head, your word, is laid at the root of the enemy of the hand. The hand of the enemy. This axe head is laid at the root of confusion. This axe head is laid at the root of deception, God. And bust it up now. God split. God bring, 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 bring out. 
God, bring out those that are in sales of bondage. God, bring them out. Those that are in sales of pain. God, bring them out now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Those that are angry. Those that don't want to forgive. Those that have something in their heart that they want to return back to the one that did it to them. God, give them a change of heart now, God. God, touch that man's heart. God, touch that woman's heart. God, touch that child's heart. God, touch that, that boy's heart. In Jesus' name, God, and God calls restoration. God calls change. God, you said in your word that you might smite the earth with a curse, but instead you sent the spirit of Elijah to bring back, bring the hearts of the fathers uh, uh, and, and, and the sons and the daughters back to the father and the father back to the child. God, bring restoration. God, bring a newness. God, bring understanding. God, bring awakening. God, bring an eye-opening experience that they can see, that they can hear. God, give them strength to say no. Give them strength to walk away. Give them strength to say yes to your word. God, give them the strength. God, give them the clarity. God, to receive your call. You got your calling them. You got, you're calling them out. God, you're calling them out of depression. God, you're calling them out of pain. God, you're calling out of hopelessness. God, you're calling out of hurt. God, you're calling. God, you're calling. In Jesus' name, God, we pray and we thank you. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a smile on you. And may all God's best be yours. And I'm going to say this. You are going to live. You are going to live, not die. Your mind has been telling you that. Your heart has been telling you that. Circumstances have been telling you that. But you are not going to die, but you are going to live. Hear me and hear me well, ma'am. Hear me and hear me well, sir. You are not going to die from this situation. You are not going to dribble away from this situation, but you are going to revive. Matter of fact, this situation, this situation is awakening. It's birthing. It's birthing a newness. It's birthing a miracle. It's birthing a breakthrough. It's birthing a voice out of you. God is birthing. God is birthing a new thing. And so, wow, you're in your fire of affliction. Trust God. And believe that God is going to bring you out of that situation. Just like the Hebrew boys did when they were in the fiery furnace. But they knew that God was able to deliver them. And because they knew that God was able to deliver them, God did. <coughs> God did. Even though the king had turned the, 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 the furnace up seven times hotter, the heat set them free. The heat from that furnace, the heat from that fire, set them free from what was binding them. And I pray that the heat that's burning the heat that's talking to you the heat that's making you feel uncomfortable it's setting you free right now hear me and hear me well is that alright God bless you